YouTube. It's enabled each of us to have the opportunity to connect with like-minded individuals and find content that inspires and entertains us. And for the creative person, it's enabled us to find our audience. In this video series, we'll cover the basics of creating content for YouTube, as well as the nuts and bolts of how to get started making and uploading your own videos and finding and connecting with your own audience. Today's topic, the what. A lot of people are motivated to share something with the world, but sometimes have a hard time pinning down exactly what it is and especially how to present it. You probably have a good idea of what kind of a YouTube channel you want to create, but it's not always easy to figure out which aspect of a subject to start with. Combine that with trying to create compelling content that people actually want to watch and things can get overwhelming quickly. Here are some constructive things you can do to begin honing in on what kind of content you want to create and how. Make a list of things that interest you. Seeing these things listed in front of you can really help organize your thoughts and help you flesh out and bring to the surface exactly what you're trying to share. Look at your own reading habits, internet history, and apps you often use when you are ingesting content. Often these things will show you the angles from which you want to approach your own content and can give perspective to the kinds of videos you want to make. Ask friends or loved ones who know you well what they think you're particularly knowledgeable about. You might be surprised to hear the answers and get some fresh ideas from them. These are just a few things to help you really dig into what's on your heart and begin fine tuning not only what your message will be, but how you'll frame it in the medium of video. Now that you've figured out exactly what topics or opinions or subjects you want to create content for, it's time to figure out what style of video you want to produce. Is your video going to be talking head style, where you're actually on camera communicating conversationally with your audience? Phil DeFranco's style is just that. Check out his channel and view his older videos. You'll see how he turned a modest filming with his old digital camera into an informative channel with over 6 million subscribers. Is it going to be footage you've collected or shot yourself with a voiceover, like the video you're watching right now? YouTube juggernaut PewDiePie started this way. His earliest videos are simply a screen recording of him playing video games with his friends. He now has an audience of over 100 million. Is it going to be off-the-cuff vlog style, where you're simply pointing the camera at your face and uploading whatever happens? Casey Neistat took YouTube by storm in 2015 by filming his day-to-day -day carrying his camera around pointed at himself, gaining over 12 million subscribers in the process. Knowing your video's style is important because it will inform you of what kind of equipment you'll need as well as the kind of environment you need to create for your video shoot. Once you've got these ideas nailed down, you can gather the necessary gear and set up your space to record your video. Recording a laid-back, handheld vlog-style video only takes a smartphone and you, whereas a talking head style video would take a tripod, some lights, and in many cases, a preset environment to record in. If you think you might need more equipment than you currently have, get creative. Often all you need is already in your pocket and around your home. Most everyone has a smartphone capable of recording great video. To brighten things up in the scene, you may be able to use lights you already have in the house. We've covered some ideas on how to pinpoint not only the topic, but also the style of video you want to create. In the next video, we will be discussing just how to shoot your video from the ground up, including equipment and the implementation of it. Before you watch the next video, put your mind to not only the subject matter you want to share, but also the angles from which you'll approach your topic, as well as what style of video best suits the way you want to interact with your audience. With your creativity now flowing from all the groundwork you've laid, you should be ready to share your thoughts with the world. The most important thing to do is start.